So this is where things get interesting. So this is where we get to create our own VPCs for you know, whatever our requirements are. When it comes to creating our own VPC, there are certain limits. You can have five per region. So basically you can have multiple VPCs. The soft limit is five, but you can speak to um, AWS support to raise this limit if required. And you can have up to five, some people call it CIDR, some people call it CIDR. So I'll say CIDRs or allowed per VPC. Don't worry if you do not know what this is, we will cover them. So basically these are an IP address ranges. They are called as classless internet domain routing, basically a method to allocate IP address and routing. So this would define how many IP addresses that are going to be available for you to use for a particular VPC, a particular subnet, stuff like this. So this, this gives you the allocation limits. So by default, um, the minimum size you can have is, I can, I'll just give an example. So you can say 10.0.0.0 slash 28. If I give something like this, then that would give you just 16 IP addresses for you to be able to allocate to resources that are located within this VPC. However, if you allocate 16, then it gives you 65,536 IP addresses. There are a few websites that you could use. One of them are IP address guide. So if you are not sure of what is the side range that you need to use, but you know how much resources you're gonna have. Like let's say, for example, if you're gonna have um, close to 60,000 resources that you're gonna elect, then you can check here. 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and do a calculation that gives you your CIDR range, subnet mask, the first IP, the last IP, and the total hosts that you could have within the um, network range. Here you can see that you can have 65,536. For example, if you are using this CIDR range, but there is a restrictions within AWS, which is for each subnet, AWS reserves five IP addresses, the first four and the last one for you know, their own internal purposes. So these are the addresses and the purposes that are they reserved for. Say, for example, if you are using this range, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So that gives you, in theory, 65,536 IP addresses, of which only this much you can use. The rest, the first four address. So one is for network address, VPC router, AWS DNS, and I think they have reserved it for future usage. And the last IP address is they have used, they blocked it for network broadcast. AWS does not allow network broadcast within VPC for security reasons and performance reasons as well. So this is something to be mindful of when you are allocating CIDR ranges. So you would lose about five IP address within your range every time you allocate something. So these are some of the things to be mindful of when you're creating a custom VPC. We will cover this in lab in quite a hands-on manner. So don't worry if some of these concepts are new to you. And again, feel free to ping me if you need more details.